here is a unit of um, concentration that is kind of a little odd. It is the percent by mass of, of mass of volume. So the percent mass of volume is the mass in grams divided by the volume of the solution in milliliters times 100%. So it's grams per milliliter expressed as a percentage. Now what this effectively means, because we multiplied the number by 100, is that we are looking at really at the number of grams per 100 milliliters. Okay, so let's have a look. So the, the mass volume percent of this solution that contains 1.50 grams of sodium chloride, which is our solute in 50 milliliters of solution, would be 1.50 grams over 50 milliliters. Note that we have a mass on top, volume at the bottom, and here we don't have to convert because we already grams and milliliters, but if not, we have to convert to grams and milliliters times 100%. That gives us 3%. As mentioned before, because our mass volume percentage is really the mass in grams per 100 milliliters, this can be the 2.85% mass of volume is really 2.85 grams per 100 milliliters. And therefore, the number of grams of KBr required to prepare 2.00 liters of solution. What we have to do first is because I've got milliliters here, I need to convert from liters to milliliters. So that's 1,000 milliliters over 1 liter times now. Here I have, two, for every 100 milliliters, I have 2.85 grams of solute. And therefore, this would be equal to 57 grams. Now, for very low concentrations, such as environmental toxins and things like that, we actually end up with units like parts per million, or parts per billion. And what we're doing is, we again have grams over milliliters, but we now multiply by a million or billion as appropriate. So for example, if I have a fluorinated water source and I have 35 milligrams of NAF per 2 times 10 to the 4 liters, the number of ppm, okay, is the mass of my solute so NAF in grams over the number of milliliters of solution times 10 to the 6. So let's go through this. I have 35 milligrams and I convert this to grams. So that's 1000 milligrams in 1 gram over milliliters of solution. So I have 2.0 times 10 to the 4 liters and I convert from 1 liter to 1000 milliliters and I multiply all of this by 10 to the 6 and this gives me 0 0.0175 ppm as my concentration. We can also use ppm or ppb okay, <clears throat> as our as a conversion factor to solve problems. So here we're going to solve for the number of grams of calcium 2 plus. And what does parts per million mean? It really, a corollary to this is that we have, is that it is the number of grams per 10 to the 6, i.e. a million milliliters. Okay, so let's see. Here we have 110 liters of hard water and we convert this to milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters in one liter okay and then we go from milliliters so we then use this as a conversion factor so in every 10 to the 6 milliliters we have 90 grams and therefore if I go through the calculation I will find that the mass of calcium here is 9.9 .9 grams